Good morning, friends, and happy, happy Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. What's up, Red Kids? How are ya? Alrighty, friends, you will need this packet if you want to pause the video and go grab it. It should be in your red folder. There might be some papers in front of it. It might be stapled to a packet, so you might have to peel it apart, but it is in your red folder. I gave it to you yesterday, so if you weren't at school yesterday, then you don't have it, but if you were at school, you do. We're going to use it at the end of our morning meeting, okay? So let's go ahead and share the screen. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold on. I have my second screen plugged in, and you guys know that I can't have, can't be looking over there and looking over yonder. Let me pull everything over here, make it a little bit easier for myself. Oh no, I almost ended the meeting. Where's the button? My goodness, friends. Hold on, I'm so sorry. <laughs> here we go. How many days have we been doing this? Jeez Louise. All right, here we go. Are you ready to learn? Eyes are watching, ears are listening. Think back to Friday. Eek. Remember when we did that um, sight word game? And I said, hey, write this sight word down. Hey, write this sight word down and it was really hard. I think it's because we're not really listening and watching during these videos. So I want you super focused. So if there's anything in your area, push it away. Eyes are on the screen, sit up nice and tall, voice is off, hands are down, body is quiet and still. But now we're gonna stand up and stretch. So go ahead and stand up. Reach up tall, tall, tall to the sky. Reach over and try to touch those toes. Hurry, track up tall, 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 tall. Let's touch those toes one more time. Come back up, put your arms out to the side. Move them forward, move them backwards. Give yourself a big old squeeze and say, it's gonna be a great day. I'm ready to learn. Keep on standing for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, and you can have a seat. Remember, keep looking at the screen. Yesterday, I told you about three new sight words and we found them in the story, where are they? Let's review them real quick. This word is by everybody. What's this word? By, oops, everybody spell it. B Y by. The other new word that we're looking for is they, everybody, what's this word? They, everybody spell it, T-H-E-Y, they. The last new word is came. Everybody, what's this word? Came, everybody spell it, C-A-M-E. Remember, came as an A. It's not come, come has an O. We talked about that hopefully yesterday. All right, let's read our morning message. I'll read it first. I want you listening for by, came, they. Here we go. February 2nd, 2021. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. They came by to play at PE. What will they play? It will be a great day. I can and I will love Mrs. Forrester. All right, your turn, read it with me. February 2nd, 2021. Good morning, today is Tuesday. They came by to play at PE. What will they play? It will be a great day. I can and I will love Mrs. Forrester. All right, let's find the sight word came. Came has an A. What color is it on the board? 
That's right, it's Baloo. They came by to play at PE. Then we have this word right here. What is this word? This word is they. They is on there twice. What two colors is it? Find it, I'll give you a second. Yes, it is blue and it is orange. Blue and orange, they. Last word that we're looking for is this short teeny tiny word, by. By, what color is by? That's right, it's blue. All righty. Yesterday, the gray kids got a chance to look at our brand new calendar. Now you get to see it. I'm gonna delete this, but I put the 31 on the calendar to help us remember or know where the month started. Yesterday was the first and we put up a heart. We put up a blue heart. We have no idea what the pattern is yet. I can't wait to find out. Let's grab a two. Ooh, okay. We have blue, pink. One, two. I wonder what three will be. The gray kids will find out tomorrow. Do you think it'll be blue? Pink? Maybe even purple. I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. All right, let's go to the days of the week. You were at school yesterday, so that means yesterday was ma, ma, Monday. What does that make today? You're at home learning. Think about your song. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. What did we point to? What comes after Monday? Today is Tuesday. Ta -ta. Tuesday. What will tomorrow be? You'll be back in school. So tomorrow will be, think about your song. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. This is the week. Boop, boop. This is the week. Boop, boop. All right. What will tomorrow be? What? What? Wednesday. And you'll be back in school and you'll have PE. Okay, I checked the weather. The weather today is, what's happening out there? Oh my goodness, it's still Friday for me, but when I just looked outside, so much snow has melted. Is there more snow today? Is it raining? Is it foggy? Is it cold? Remember, just because the sun is out doesn't mean that it's hot. What's going on? Tell me, I'm listening. Okay, that sounds like a great day. All right, you told me yesterday that it was day 95 of kindergarten. That makes today day 96, day 96. Oh my goodness. We are just four days away from the 100th day of school. Remember, we will celebrate on February 8th and you can come dressed up as an old person. Four days away, let's count by tens and count by ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. 96 days of kindergarten. All right, let's do our morning work. You are red kids, so you should have building skills February in front of you. It should have an R in the top corner. It should have the word home and then Tuesday and Thursday shortened. If you have a G, let me know you have the wrong packet. Hopefully you don't. All right, go ahead and turn the page. Turn it over. The second, it's February 2nd, so you're looking for a two and an 11. Now on Friday, Truett reminded us, or told us rather, that February is the second month. January is the first month, February is the second month. So thanks to Truett, we know to put a two 
right here because it's the second month of the year. We're also going to put a two right here because it's the second day of the month. It's the second month and it's the second day of the second month. And then we'll write the year 21. Two, two, 21. Three twos and a one should be written on your paper. I'm going to keep going. If you're still working, pause it or just catch on up. We need to write Tuesday. Let's write it. T, T, T. What letter is that? T. Ooh, ooh, ooh. T, ooh. It's kind of a tricky one. Is an O. T, ooh. S day d d d d a a y. Remember, we're working on spelling day um, d a y. That y is making the a say its name. If you're still working on Tuesday, keep on going. I'm gonna keep going. You can pause the video if you want to. We need to circle the letters that are vowels. Vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. Those are the ones that we're looking for. So we'll circle A, we'll circle E, we'll circle the I's, we'll circle the O's, and we'll circle the U's. Now let's cross off the consonants. The consonants are all the rest of the letters. B, R, P, U, whoa. Could you see that? My pencil just broke. Probably don't want that much let out. Keep going. D, F, T, V. There you go. A, E, I, O, U are the vowels and sometimes Y. All right, write the word to match this picture. This is a bed. I'm gonna give you a minute to write bed all by yourself. Bed, I'm not gonna tap it. I'm not gonna say the sounds. I want you to write bed right here, right now. Bed. <clears throat> Okay, if you're still working on it and you're like, no, don't tell me the answer yet, pause the video, but I am going to spell it. B, B, B is a B. Eh, eh, eh is an E. D, D, D is a D. Bed. Okay, write the sentence. Capitalize the first word and add punctuation. Now, here's the sentence. Here is my clover. Can we use a question mark? No, we sure can't. We cannot have a question mark because we're not asking. That can't even be a question. We're not asking about my clover. We're saying, here's my clover. Here you go. So we need to use a period or an exclamation point up to you we gotta write the sentence first let's capitalize the h in here because it's the first letter in the first word here the rest are lowercase two finger space is two finger space my uh, i can't fit clover there so i'm coming all the way down here clover And maybe I'm excited. Here's my clover. I'm putting an exclamation point at the end. You can do a period if you're like, here's my clover. It's up to you. My pencil's out of lead. Great. I think I have enough to get me through. Maybe not. All right, let's see what happens. Here we go. Because I lost my pen that I had over here for Zoom class. Write the number 11. If you're still working on writing the sentence, Pause the video, but I'm going to write the number 11. Two ones, 
pretty close together. Boom, there we go, looking good, looking good. All right, let's write the equation. First, we gotta figure out what goes into these, this domino. On the first square in the domino, I want you to draw four circles. Four circles. And on the other side of the domino, I want you to write three circles. Okay, now we need to write the equation. The first number is how many dominoes are over here? One, two, three, four. There went my lead. Give me one second. All right. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna write a four over here because that's what's on that side. Sorry about that, friends. Now we need to write one, two, three, because that's over there. Now we have to figure out four plus three equals. What is four plus three? Maybe you already know it. If you do, write it down. If you're not sure, let's count the circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Jeez Louise, I'm like writing really hard, I guess. All right, write the numbers that come before and after. Let's start with 10. What comes before 10? Let's count, figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Ooh, nine. Comes after 10. Let's count it. Start at nine. Nine, 10, 11, 11. Look, that's our number of the day. All right, let's keep going. Write the number that comes before and after. 19. Let's start at 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Woo, what came up first? 18. 19, ooh, 20. There you go. Pause the video if you're still working. Copy all that down. Have a super great day. Mrs. Burks is available. She was such a great help last week. We are all done with our testing. So she is back and ready to Zoom with you, hopefully. Um, fingers crossed, because I know she's I know you guys love that reading time with her. So log back on at 9.30 to read with Mrs. Burks. And then I will see you in class tomorrow. Have a super great, awesome little Redbird day. Bye.